little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Seasons. So I decided to go ahead and fast forward a couple days just because nothing was really happening. Um, tonight it is the Night on the Town event, which I'm not really sure what that means. I think it just means like everything is free. So obviously Briley is going to make a night of it. The only thing that really happened um, when you guys were away is that Pablo came over and Riley and him were actually stargazing out on her lawn and it was really beautiful and super magical. Speaking of beautiful and super freaking magical, Magical. In last week's episode, Riley actually spent the entire winter fest holiday with Sai, and that too was also super wonderful and magical. It's definitely leaving Riley a little confused. So, um, the question of the day for last week's episode was basically, should we keep selling what we are currently selling at the Sterling Stems Flower Shop, or should we only just stay strictly to handcrafted items? And Tara said that she thinks it would suit Riley's personality better just to have her only selling handcrafted items and then she also told me the best way to basically convince customers to purchase is just to stay on their culitos so I will definitely take those things into consideration um, and apply it to the method of our madness when we go back to our flower shop and then also she mentioned about uh, getting all the store perks and stuff so I'm not gonna lie <laughs> these dogs are starting to get on my last damn nerve and um, you know what? Like, I need all the nerves I can truly freaking get because <sighs> I am just feeling feisty today, you guys. I'm not even joking. Anyway. I've been having Riley work so hard, so freaking hard on all of her whims, earning money. I mean, we've got $6,000 freaking dollars, you guys, because Riley has finally decided Windenburg is her home. She was born and raised here. Are we done? What the hell is this? It looks like one of the dogs just grabbed the paintbrush and went to town, but apparently it's worth $355, my friends. That is what I call art. Um, so yeah, she, she, she's decided that uh, Windenburg is her home. Right, so she wants to purchase a lot where she can build her dream cabin so that she has enough room for all of her plants and her dogs and to maybe be able to even possibly uh, put up a tree next winter fest. All of the things, you guys, all of the things. So I want her to also earn 5,000, uh, which I'm going to call it, 5,000 satisfaction points so we can get that money tree. I've been talking about it a lot lately. I'm really, really hoping that we'll grab that. And then um, also we got a promotion too while you were away. And I love how I said, <laughs> I love how I said nothing happened, but like all the things happened. Um, in my defense, it happened after I was done filming. But yeah, we ended up getting a promotion. So we are now a stem cutter, level six of the floral designing career. So I just wanted her to come over here and trim her head um, because I'm actually going to have her go over into the bathroom and start getting ready for the evening. So you you guys are gonna kill me you're gonna kill me you're gonna kill me but uh you'll never guess who she's going out with tonight <laughs> i heard you in the back <laughs> someone's like pablo that's right pablo so last night when they were stargazing they were having a connection a wicked connection now they have grown up so much since the beginning of jungle adventure and those days um i really do want to see what kind of relationship friendship whatever we can genuinely have with pablo so i think it'll be kind of cool for Riley to get all dressed up um, and maybe hit up a bar or something. I'm not going to do like, you know, dinner or anything like a date, just like just friends, you know? And I know a lot of you guys really want her to get in a relationship and settle down, ideally with Sai, but I don't want you to scream at me, but I just, I don't know. For some reason, I'm not really convinced that we've met the man just yet, if that makes sense. And to be honest, I thought we were all on the common understanding that Riley was just going to focus on herself because I think she's doing a really, really good job at it, actually. So let me go and see what it is that we can put Riley in. I actually love this. It's a cable knit what is this like cable knit sweater I guess but it's kind of like a turtleneck too it's a little confusing um I did download a bunch of custom content as we already know and that should definitely be in here but I was thinking of possibly having Riley put on like a little leather jacket or something I think that would be really cute we've got a bunch of these little cardigan things Ooh, how about this jacket this is perfect because it is really really chilly outside 
Um, so at least she won't, at least she won't catch a cold. All right. So we got the jacket. We got the pants. I really like this outfit. It's super chill. Um, the only other thing that I think that I might want to do is maybe like switch up her hair really quick. I think that would be a great idea. I am planning on doing a full like glam over, makeover, whatever, um, on the, uh, seasons cast. So whoever you would like me to like throw in that makeover session, let me know in the comments, but I kind of like this hairstyle on Riley. I think it's really pretty. All right. So I think that's pretty much what her outfit is going to consist of. Super duper basic, very simple, perfect for going out on the town. The other thing that Riley wanted to do is she wanted to blog, uh, her, what is it? Not fashion tips. <laughs> um, she wanted to blog her, gardening tips apparently but we don't have a computer right now so what I think we'll do is just before we go out with Pobs we'll probably go over to the uh, Windenburg library I think would be a good spot I was thinking of maybe bringing Eden I feel like Eden and Riley don't even talk anymore like I feel like we're not even friends like, Eden's really busy with her kids and you know oh my god <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can't get you out of my mind. Do you want to go on a date and get some dinner at the sunny side of diner? I do. I really do. That is seriously so sweet. I like you too so much, Cy, but I'm just, you know, I got plans. I got plans, man. That hurts. That hurts, you guys. Like, that actually really hurts. It seriously does. But uh, anyway, back to that whole Eden thing. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe once things calm down for her, we'll be able to, like, reestablish that relationship. Oh my god, okay. If you want to know about the best food in the city, the vendors at the Spice Festival can tell you all the ins and outs of the local cuisine. Do you want to come to get the inside scoop with me? <laughs> I know I just canceled the plans with Sai, but we were originally gonna go with Pablo anyway. I actually do need to get this blog underway, but then we'll go and meet up with him, which is kind of cool. Like, I really wasn't gonna have Riley go to the Spice Festival, but I mean, it is like free drinks and food tonight, so why not go and like, you know, try something we normally wouldn't? Um, but I really do want her to go and finish this because, like I said, I I am so, so, so committed to completing as many whims as freaking possible. Um, we are actually, wow, that was really fast. So we are done already. And it looks like we have also acquired the writing skill, which is pretty freaking boss. Um, in addition, she would like to find a flora design clientele. What the hell is that? Click on a computer and then select the web to search for new flora, flora, flora design clients. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just totally butchered that entire thing, but I've never done that before either. So um, let's just see what this is all about. And then after this, we'll end up leaving and uh, going with Pablo. It sucks because I had Riley dress for like an inside venue, but we're going to be outside now. So that was kind of freaking pointless. Um, you know what would be really cool? Give me some like fashion ideas. Like I'm dead serious. Like send me some ideas via Twitter and stuff. Like I I'm not even playing you uh, for like outfits that you think Riley would like because I really want to like stay true to her style but I also want to kind of like branch out as well so we have got a lot going on here Riley is feeling very focused she would like to upgrade an object um she is pushing pedals apparently new potential customers is a great motivator to work hard and perform better uh what else what else what else we've got writing praise it feels great to be successful in a career you love i need to give credit where it's due she is seriously killing the floral designer career looks like the festival ends at 1 a.m so we definitely have enough time to go over there and enjoy it now i just gotta go and find a pablo it looks like he is probably already there waiting for her so yeah yeah, this night should be definitely interesting. I know some of you guys are probably going to want to hit me over the head with a freaking frying pan like you thought Pablo was dead. It was super funny because Coconut, I think it heard he was Coconut Shaved Ice, was like, Pablo, I won't give up on you. And then all of a sudden, this song comes into my head and it's like, uh, what is it? Wait, oh, stop. I'm giving up on you or something like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be the one if you want me to. That one, just that's what came into my head and it was a whole scene. It was a whole moment and I was feeling really bad. What the hell is Pop? wearing he's got all of the things on he's got a light bulb he's got some pink trousers with some freaking doc martens i am all sorts of confused right now but you know what the uh the mc command controls have my back we're just gonna go and put him in his like i guess winter wear right now which is a little more which is a little more appropriate um so let's go over here 
And we are going to, um, God, I don't know. I mean, I love, I love Get Famous. Don't, don't get it twisted. But sometimes it can be very annoying, especially when there's like a whole bunch of celebrities around. I don't know, but I think for this LP in particular, you guys, I, I might disable it. What do you think? Because Riley has no interest in being famous, like at all. And oh, by the way, if you, um, if you, uh, practice your 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 blogs and your you know floral tips and all that whatever the hell it is um you could actually become famous that way too as well which is kind of interesting I, I wouldn't say it's super easy to become famous but it feels like you can be, become famous in a lot of different ways so right now they're having a deep conversation pablo is super excited riley decided to come and hang out with him uh so since we are here at the at the food festival or the spice festival we should definitely try some of the dishes so we can get some taquitos empanadas um and it is all free it is all gratis you guys or you know what we could do we could go over here and we can try some pho or ooh, there's a lot of food stalls maybe some curry i feel like i always get the curry you know what we're gonna do we're gonna have riley go and grab herself a little bowl of some pho is there anything else that we can like collect here any money that we can make what is this food stand uh this is actually just the the swag stall which riley doesn't care about that right now we are kind of being a little frugal and we're trying to save all the simoleons that we can get um and it says it looks like like Riley's having a little trouble with those chopsticks. She should eat more chopstick foods like pho to develop that finger dexterity. <laughs> Oh my god apparently pho is spicy would you know that i've never actually had it oh my god i saw this coming i really did so you guys sai is here and this is kind of awkward because ah, he asked us to go out and um we didn't because we were supposed to go with pablo instead so riley's kind of feeling a little a little nervous like she totally spotted sai he has not spot her yet and i feel so bad that we're like ignoring sai like this like this just shows how immature Riley can be sometimes because instead of like just being like hey I'm here with my friend you know the guy that you thought I was making out with when we were on a date yeah him hi um she just runs I don't know why but I I just every time that I do get up with like link up with Pablo there's just this this calm there's just this calm I feel I, I feel like it's home and I feel safe and I feel like Riley can be herself and I feel like there's no frills and I feel like there's no you know puffing out your chest I just feel like there's like a genuine uh, a genuine connection here and I don't know I don't know maybe maybe I'm overthinking it maybe there's not maybe you guys are just so in love with Sai that you couldn't possibly see it but I mean back in the day yes I absolutely agree Pablo and Riley were toxic for each other but Pablo has been in love with her for years you guys and he will always love her he will always 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 leap at the opportunity to basically make things right and be her knight in shining armor and be everything that she wants and more they share so much like they have a lot in common um and at the end of the day like i said they can just kind of be themselves and i feel like riley kind of feels like she could be that way with Sai, but there's like this expectation too as well um but there was never that with pablo like she could just be and feel and do what she wanted and 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 that was fine you know it looks like pablo's up at the stage again doing some more karaoke you know what let's just have riley go ahead and like show him some support and then oh my god she wants to kiss sai are you freaking kidding me you guys like i'm not even kidding in the episode that you didn't get to see no lie like swear on crick says um she was getting a whim after whim after whim about pablo like bam 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 and then all of a sudden she's got this whim of Sai when she's on this date with Pablo it's kind of crazy to me and like I don't even know what to think about it like I'm starting to almost think at this point she might actually have a thing for both guys which would be a nightmare like how could you be in love with two people at once like I know that's a very possible thing but I really do not want to be put in that position like I said it's just so much easier for me to be like okay Riley you're doing you boo boo than have to be in a love triangle because ah, I would literally 
Riley scream. It is almost four o'clock in the freaking morning and Riley and Paolo have been outside this entire time. They had a little snowball fight. They also went ahead and kind of like toured the pier really quick. It is seriously so freaking gorgeous tonight, you guys. Like I love San Myshuno in the wintertime. So they're just about to have a little bit of a nightcap. Riley has been wanting to grab a drink for the absolute longest. We are sipping on some EAPAs. Probably going to turn in here relatively shortly. Um, I was actually eating dinner because I kind of had to take a break and then I was eating um, and then I came back and I was just sitting on the couch thinking to myself like how terrible I feel for Riley kind of just like going ghost on Sai even though he didn't see her. I love it. Riley is pitching a toast with Pablo in the comments down below for the question of the day. What do you think Riley's toast was? Like I'm curious. I want to know what you guys think she would have said. Anyway, once we're done with this, we're probably going to wrap it up. Pablo is insisting on driving Riley home. That is very, very sweet of him, but I'm sure she can make it back on her own just fine. It looks like this dude over here, Rodrigo, is striking up a little conversation with Riley. Um, so let's let's give him a friendly introduction. Even though it's five o'clock in the morning, this bar is just starting to start popping. Like earlier when we came in here, it was dead as a doornail, like no bartender in sight. Um, and then just as I was about to head home, like everybody and their mother started to roll on it. So I don't know if you guys can tell because the lighting is kind of dark, but Pablo has a little red tinge to his face. So in last week's episode, I was getting a lot of questions as to why my Sims' faces were red and how Riley had the baby fever moodlet because a lot of you guys were kind of getting thrown off by it. And it's crazy because I thought at this point, like a lot of us knew what that mod was. So yes, in short, it is a mod. It's called the Slice of Life mod by Kawaii Stacy. I do actually have a review of the mod on the channel. I'll link it at the end of this video. Just keep in mind, since I posted that video, which was a while ago, it's been updated. So there is even more to it than there was originally. Um, so when your Sims drink, their faces will become kind of flustered and red because of the alcohol. Uh, they can get hangovers. They can become drunk. They can become embarrassed because they drank too much. They get sick. They can throw up. Uh, and in right instant she was actually having a little episode of some baby fever when she was with Sai because she could envision herself kind of having a future with this kid anyways not getting into that whole dialogue but that's what it was and that is the mod uh, responsible for the moodlets and the red faces I mean kids can't even lose their teeth for God's sakes and your sims can get embarrassed from having stinky breath so there's just like a lot to it it's a really good mod I think relatively soon I'm going to be putting together like my must-have mod mods list for The Sims 4. I haven't really done one of those recently and I feel like there's just a whole bunch more that I use now that I can recommend to you guys. And it also may make things a little bit easier when you are looking for mods like that, I guess. Anyway, um, so it is officially New Year's Eve and it's also 6 o'clock in the morning. So before we head on home, I wanted Riley to go over and take a picture with Pablo, like an updated picture because I don't feel like we have one with him or we haven't taken taken one with him in a really really long time and it's gonna be super cute because Pablo's face is going to be all red and flustered hopefully her bio isn't in the picture no it's not I think they look really cute together maybe that's just me anyways we are going to go ahead and give him a hug uh, we'll probably talk to him maybe later on today or something he was wondering if we would like to get together for New Year's Eve honestly I feel like we should definitely take the opportunity to get together um, with Eden or something I feel like we definitely need to, I don't know, do other things, maybe even meet some more friends, to be honest. I feel like Riley is such a um, loner sometimes, and that's fine. Like, she loves to be alone. Less trouble that way. But I really do feel like she needs to have more of a social life and also focus in on what she wants to do to better herself as well. And I feel like she's been really focused lately, so it's nice to kind of see her get out and go have a night on the town and enjoy herself. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so 
So it's cloudy back home, which is not very exciting at all. Riley does need to go straight into the shower. Um, did I tell you guys that we had Hunter and and you're gonna kill me? <laughs> you're gonna like if you weren't pissed off already. Um, I had Hunter in Tracker try for babies, so I don't think it worked. If I'm being honest, because uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't think Hunter is pregnant. She just, I mean, she's been sleeping a lot, maybe. Um, and you're probably like, Jen, what would give you such a wild idea? Like, why would you? ever <laughs> like what is wrong with you um besides the obvious i don't know i just really wanted to see what it would look like for a chocolate lab and a dalmatian to have puppies okay like don't question me but anyways riley is feeling very energetic she's actually not tired at all whatsoever she wants to hip bump somebody she wants to attempt the spicy curry challenge uh let me see what else we can do I'm gonna pass on the vampire research she wants to have a snowball fight we just literally did all these things how about give me some Something good okay take a dog on a walk do you get points for completing your aspiration let me know in the comments down below that's another question of the day because I honestly I know it's a dumb question but I really don't know like I genuinely am a little I'm a little lost for words so you know who I'm gonna give a walk to or take a short walk whatever I'm gonna I'm gonna go and give tracker a short walk um, I am aware of the dog walker mod I just feel like whatever for whatever reason like when I used it it didn't it didn't work for me I don't know maybe I'm, I'm doing something wrong I'll try it again if you guys insist but I feel like the best practice for having a dog is having multiple people in a household so then you can kind of like rotate and take the dogs on walks but Riley is just not I don't know what is going on today like we're having so many damn issues all right there she goes so she's gonna go and get her morning jog on and Tracker is very excited he's a very active dog like I honestly feel like you know another thing that Riley could focus in on and that, that she already has like enough on her plate um she should definitely see if she can start training Tracker to do different like tricks and maybe even take him through the obstacle course he's a very 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 high activity dog like I have never like Hunter is a little more like low-key doesn't require so much attention but when it comes to tracker like you need to be on your a game 24 for Rickon 7 you guys <laughs> it is no joke honestly I freaking quit y'all I just want her to finish this damn painting so we can get some damn satisfaction points she wants to also cook a meal and discuss it fitness techniques I'm actually going to when she's finished with this have her send a text message to Eden just to kind of see what she is up to and it's crazy because I thought they were following out but like they still have a really strong relationship I feel like Riley and Eden's relationship would technically count as falling out if it was any typical friendship but because they are such good friends they can literally go months without even well, I wouldn't say months but weeks without speaking to each other maybe months um and they just kind of pick up where they left off and I really I really do admire that about them. So she's going to send a little text message to Eden just to see what her New Year's Eve plans are. Maybe they can link up and get together and do something kind of fun. I'm actually going to have her come back into the bedroom. She's going to sell this painting here. And that leaves us with 3,265 satisfaction points. I really just want to grab that damn money tree. So with that said, Riley also wants to buy a punching bag. I've kind of noticed lately she's been super super duper duper into like working out and and I think that's kind of cool like she's just just naturally gravitated towards it I haven't had to force her at all so I guess oh, we sure. could see what Hunter ended up finding let's yeah, open sure. up this little oh, mystery box and then after this we'll end this part here so it looks like Hunter discovered to give a dog a bone which I'm not sure if that's a toy or a book so I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here I do apologize if it was a little all over the place but I still hope that you all in and Enjoyed. and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time bye guys